What's going on and welcome back to the channel. Today in this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm gonna teach you two different methods to do a freeze frame style effect. Let's get into it. What's going on and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I'm a freelance filmmaker and I bring out videos that help you grow as creators. So today I've got two different effects inside DaVinci Resolve. Both are gonna give you about the exact same effect. So no matter what version of DaVinci Resolve you have, whether it's the studio or the free version, I've got something for you. Let's load up DaVinci Resolve and get going. So to do the first effect, we're gonna need two things. We're gonna need a video clip of our subject, whatever we're wanting to have. And then I've got a video clip that is the background of this kind of retro style TV. I think it's a really cool effect. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna drop it into our timeline. I'm gonna go ahead and just play it through and find the spot that I like. Pretty much any of them will work, but I think right there should be good because I want to be able to put a title or something up in the corner. I would go ahead and envision what you're going to do before you really dive into this effect. It will save a lot of time in the long run. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make sure I'm on the spot that I want. On a Mac, I'm going to hit Command B to cut that. You can also hit B, that would bring up the blade tool and then you could cut wherever you want. But having it over there, that's just a quick shortcut. I am going to right click on it and I'm going to go to Retime Controls I again on a Mac could hit Command R and it would bring that up. I'm gonna zoom in here by hitting the Command Plus button. And then I am going to click this little drop down tab and I'm gonna to go to Freeze Frame. And you can see it's kind of added a freeze frame spot here. I'm gonna just drag that out because I don't care about going back to the video. So I'm going to just trim that up, something like that. It's excessively long, but it will work for the purpose of this tutorial. So I'm gonna play that through freezes just like that, I think that looks good. So what I want to do is I need to now start working on the cutout. Now this is specifically gonna be in the studio version right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this a level up, just making it easier. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the video kind of graphics underneath it, trim that so it's about the same. I'm gonna make sure I'm selected on that one. Then we're gonna go inside the color tab and in here, we are gonna do the magic mask. That's what's gonna create this effect very quickly. So I am gonna click on the magic mask subject. I am gonna go ahead and just highlight a decent amount of him. Kind of make sure I'm not going too far out. Just getting a lot. It does pretty good. And if we need to add more, we can just add more in there. Now it doesn't look great around his hair and the best way to do that is we're gonna hit better instead of faster. You can see if I change between the two, it is dramatically making this look way better. Uh, and then I want to right click on the node. I am going to hit add alpha output. I am going to connect the blue to the blue. And because this is a still instead of a video, I don't need to track this forward. You can see if I hop back into the editor, that the entire thing, it's just one image. Uh, now, the other thing I want to do is I want to add a text. So I'm gonna bring him up one more level. I'm just gonna do one of these fusion titles that's already in here. I'm just gonna grab the clean and simple title. I'm just gonna put that right there, get it to somewhere in the middle. I'm gonna hit the little box here in the bottom left so I can find it just like that. And in here, we're just gonna change this I'm gonna get rid of the clean and simple title because I think it just looks good the way it is. Unclick that. Let's play that through. Yeah, I think that's cool. Again, if we're going to change things like font, color, we could do all of that inside here. And boom, we've got that guy right there. Nice little effect that's gonna pop him up. If we wanted to resume back to where the video was, we're gonna hit Command B. I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna to go to Retime Controls. I'm gonna drag this clip out right to where I see it is. I'm gonna go right about there, where I see that it resumes. Move it there, bring that back over. And you can see he's gone because we still have that magic mask on. So again, jump back into the color tab, delete that node, go back to the edit page. He's looking around, maybe some nice buildup of music title pops up, you've got the cool graphic behind him, and then it's gonna snap back to him looking around. There's so many things you can do that are just branching off from what I'm showing you right here. 
Now, before we go any further with this tutorial, let's talk about the sponsor of today's video, and that is Motion Array. Everything that I've been using in this tutorial today has been provided by Motion Array. I wanna touch on one thing specifically, and that is their amazing templates. No matter what kind of editor you are, they have got amazing templates on their website. I cannot tell you how many times I've hopped on there, found an amazing template that's gonna fit specifically for my video, load it inside DaVinci Resolve, and in there, I can customize it however I want to make it fit my project even more than it already is by just being a drag and drop template. If you're wanting to check out Motion Ray, I'll have a link in the description below. Use that link when you sign up and you get $50 off when you sign up for an annual subscription. Thank you so much Motion Ray for sponsoring this video and other creators just like me. For the second effect that is in the free version of DaVinci Resolve, this one's gonna be a little more time consuming, but it's gonna give us pretty close to the same effect of the first one. So I've got this businessman here giving this weird kind of smirk. I don't really know, it's just a clip I went with. I think that looks fine, so I'm just gonna kind of set an in and an out point, just like so. We're gonna grab it, drop it in here. Again, play it through, find the point that I like. I think right there is pretty good. Uh, I do wanna go ahead and zoom into it, so I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna kinda just reframe him a little bit. I am gonna go ahead and make this a fusion clip because we're gonna be jumping inside fusion. I think it makes my life so much easier further on. Uh, same thing, I'm gonna hit Command B. I'm gonna right click on it, go to Retime Controls. I am gonna do the drop down, freeze frame, stretch it out, kind of trim it up a little bit, close it, make sure I'm over on top of it, hop inside the Fusion tab, and then here's where we're gonna be doing majority of the work. So we are going to make sure we've got the Media One selected, which is our video clip, and I am gonna go right here, and I am gonna be grabbing the B-spline tool. Now you can get this also by hitting Shift Spacebar on a Mac, and it would bring up your toolbox, but this is just a shortcut, so I'm gonna click that. I am going to make sure it is connected to our media, and you can see it took the video away, which is kind of hard to draw on when it's not there. So the fastest way I figured out to do this, if I shut the effect off, it actually lets us still see and draw and do everything we're gonna do. It's just not gonna affect it. So I'm gonna make sure that I have the B spline selected, hold command on a Mac and I'm gonna zoom in here and we're just gonna be going in and we are just gonna be taking our sweet time and drawing all the way around him. Once we get to the end, we are just gonna come right to the first one we started with. You'll see that little circle lasso's there. Click it, and now it is just gonna completely cut that person out. You can see it took a really decent amount of time to kind of cut him out, but it made it look insanely better. Now you can see if we hop back in the edit page, play that through that it's got our guy crossing his arms, and then now it's gonna cut to the spot that we have. So now we need some kind of background. I've got this background right here. I'm gonna bring this in. I'm gonna time this up just when that ink drops hitting. I think that looks good right there. I'm gonna play that. Boom, ink drops. I actually kind of like that background better than the previous one because it just kind of hits harder, no pun intended. Uh, so I'm gonna trim this up a little bit, something like that. I think that looks good. And again, I would like to add some kind of title. So I am just gonna add just a basic title in this one for now. This is really not important. I'm just showing you more steps that you can do. Kind of zoom it down a little bit. Again, turn on my transform so I can just move this quickly. I think something like that's cool. If we wanted it real big, we could and just drop it right behind him, something like that again. I think it's cool having that layer effect, so if you've got a title or something else that you wanna put in front, it just kind of enhances the effect a little bit more. One last thing I would like to do, just the cherry on top, is go to the beginning of it. I am gonna turn on dynamic zoom, just like so, but it is going the opposite way, so we're gonna swap it, so it's still there and it will zoom in, just like so. I think that looks cool. Maybe do the opposite for the uh, the ink splatter, play that through one last time, boom. It's got a little bit of movement, I like that. If I wanted to go the extra step, I would just maybe have the title stretching out more, uh, fading on, some kind of animation. I wouldn't probably just slap it up there. Both these effects that I'm showing you, take this as inspiration and make something a little more custom to you and the video that you're going for. This is just meant to spark that inspiration that's inside you that will make that next project that much better. That's it for me today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below. Let me know if you wanna see more like this. Uh, check out Motion Ray. There are links in the description below. Do not forget to check them out. They're an amazing platform, highly recommend them. Uh, that's it for me. I'll see y'all next time. I'm the Iron Giant. You're amazing. Did the backwards. Peace.